Hello weirdos. So my name is Voodoo aka Tay and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I accomplish this Gamora look. Now I was not prepared for this look whatsoever. I just have always liked Gamora. I've always liked Marvel. I've always liked DC and I just thought why not recreate Gamora in my own kind of way. Now I was not prepared for this. I didn't have the right mindset. Exhibit A, but I did have fun. So if you want to accomplish this look then continue watching Okay, so first we're going to start off by concealing eye, our eyebrows That makes sense. We're going to start by concealing our eyebrows by using some glue So if you get a glue stick, you're going to apply some glue on your eyebrows um, going upwards just because we want to flatten them out as much as possible so we can paint over it because Gamora doesn't have any eyebrows. It's really weird, but she's still cool. So, and then you're going to grab a mascara brush and stroke the hairs upwards like so and flatten them out as much as possible. And now you're going to look like a freaking retard, but it's going to go away soon. Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw the outline of the vest using a cheap black eyeliner. I don't actually own a vest so I'm going to paint one on instead. Now before I actually paint on my vest, I'm going to go ahead and start painting on her skin colour. Now I'm very sceptical at doing this only because I don't have the proper Gamora green skin tone, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try and make it. Now I always use my Montmartre Professional Face and Body Paint. So I've got two different shades here. The first shade's a very dark emerald green and the second shade's like an earthy, leafy, light green. So I'm going to try and mix these two together and hopefully it works out well. They are water-based paints so I can't mix them as well as I'd like if it was regular paint. So I'm going to try my best. So to apply the green to my skin, I'm going to start from my chest to my face. Um, I'm going to use a very wet beauty blender to apply it onto the areas of my skin. The reason I'm starting with my chest is because if it looks bad, I'm not going to do it. I have a really bad feeling about this. <laughs> Go, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing the exact same procedure on my face. I'm still mixing the emerald green with the leafy green to give uh, another weird green. I don't know what to call it. Gamora green. Next I'm going to start with the eyes, using a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and the musky green colour in my Morphe 35B palette, I'm going to shade in the crease of my eyelid to give it more depth. Now I'm going to go in with my MAC 217 eyeshadow brush and I'm going to darken the crease a bit as well to give it a bit more depth. <laughs> Definition. Now 
Now using that same brush, I'm gonna apply some dark eyeshadow under along my, um, what's it called? Uh, the bottom lid. Yeah, yeah. Once I'm satisfied with my shadow, I'm gonna go ahead and outline my waterline with eyeliner, just to give it some more Zinger. I'm also going to add a very small and subtle winged eyeliner along my upper lash line. I'm using Pegasus by Pony. It's very good, very affordable and it's so pigmented. Now Gamora has naturally thick, volumed and long eyelashes, so I bought these pair of eyelashes from eBay, they're um, a false mink bulk, they're $10 for 15 pairs, I'll chuck the link below in the description, they're very long, very thick, very Gamora, so it fits perfect with the look I'm going for. So next we're going to start with the lips, so again I do not have the colour green, so I'm going to make it. So I'm gonna mix the dark emerald green with a teeny weeny little bit of black and we'll go from there. We'll see how it works. So while my lips dry a bit more, I'm gonna start contouring and highlighting my face, my chest area, my collarbones, my cleavage, my cheeks, my nose, my, 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 my everything. So we're going to start contouring the cheekbones. Now I'm going to use this S motion like that to really make it sharp, defined and sharp and defined because Gamora has really sharp and defined cheekbones and I want those cheekbones. So we're going to start by doing this. Then I'm going to go ahead and contour the sides of my nose to really make it more defined. I'm going to highlight my cleavage with the same shadow and my collarbones to really make them pop. Once I'm happy with the way my contour and shading looks, I'm going to go ahead and start painting on the vest using my Montmartre Face and Body Professional Paint in the shade Black. Next, I'm going to start off with Gamora's facial designs. Now, I'm using a couple of reference pictures as a guide. I started off by roughly outlining the design with black eyeshadow to give it a bit more depth. And then I'm going to go over the entire design with my face and body professional paint by Montmartre in the metallic silver shade. Now that is the face details all done and dusted. So I'm gonna finish off the look by chucking on this black and red gradient ombre bleh wig, as well as black contacts because Gamora does not have bluey green eyes. So. Now, if you like what you see and you want to see more, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my Instagram at Lady Voodoo, and like everything you see if you like it. You know what? I'm not peer pressuring you into anything. If you want to do it, you can do it. Do it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tutorial.